I'll just walk around, take a shot, and turn it off. Yeah, I hope this air conditioner is good. Oh, they got a sunscreen. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. I like what I'm seeing so far. Any money with this uh, new loader, I'm pretty impressed with it. It uh, takes some getting used to, learn how to get the best out of this thing, but uh, I used to run these things years ago, and we used to do some really nice, pretty work. They were always bigger, though. This is the smallest one I've ever had, and uh, this is uh, Wacker Neusen. It comes from Germany, and over in Europe, these type of loaders are a lot more popular than uh, skid steers are over there. And uh, they set them up to run the attachments that the skid steers normally run. And this is the first time I've been able to find one that I could get hold of. So I'm pretty impressed with this little sucker. Now, my object in all of this is to uh, a little rabbit. My uh, object is to get some time off of the uh, track machine because the cost of the tracks, even though I get a lot more time than the average person out of a set of tracks, there's still a real expensive thing to replace. And uh, had some issues last year with my older machine, and 99% uh, of the issues we had were with the track drive system. Uh, rollers going bad, or uh, I put I run these things so much I put so many hours on them that uh, they just, their value just goes down. They run, uh, last year, or the last machine I had, uh, when it was all said and done, from in two years, I'd lost over $40,000 in value because I put almost 3,000 hours on it in two years. People say, well, you made money. Yeah, you did, but when you hit that period of time where things start going wrong, and all of a sudden you start losing all that money that you made. So this is my attempt to try to get past that, take do as much as my work with this machine. These machines in the real world go looking at uh, for used ones you'll find them up there with 8,000 10,000 hours which I've never had a track machine that got that kind of hours on it and back in the old days when you did, couldn't get track machines before they started coming out everything was on rubber tires and I had I ran skid steer with rubber tires and I used to get uh, 7,000 plus hours. I had one of them I traded in, it had 8,000 hours on it. And the dealer in Orlando, the Orlando, Bobcat of Orlando that I worked with, they said, man, you got so many hours on that thing, we don't even want it in this county. Uh, so they didn't want to take it on trade. Well, there was nothing wrong with it. I was still running it, I was just tired and I'd had it for four years, and uh, I said, okay, so I loaded it up, went back to work, because it was still running good. I figured I'd run it for another year or so, and uh, 
then try to trade it in again or you know if, if I got any more time on it then if I got scrap price out of it that you know I'd make good money but uh, eventually they came around and gave me a trade and they put it on a container and they sent it to South America that was kind of funny I, I took it off the trailer and drove it right into a container shut it down and the last I saw of it walked out of there with a brand new machine I think I put uh, 7,000 hours on that machine before I traded it in but when I started running these track dedicated track machines I have yet to get over 4,000 hours on the machine and that kind of hurts me my average is less than 3,000 before I start having major issues so that's uh, kind of why I'm trying to get into something here that's going to have a lot more hours these uh, front end loader type machines are not stressed like the uh, skid steers are. It takes a lot of muscle to skid those things around the steer. So it, uh, they live longer because you're not stressing them as much. I was on an interstate job years ago down in South Florida. Or no, I, I was on Marco Island. Uh, we were build, working around high rises, and the company I was working for had a uh, small case loader, it was a one yard size machine. Even though these, this machine had the same capacity as that machine, this is actually a smaller machine than that one we were running. But we used to do final grade with it thing with a combination bucket. And man, I tell you what, we did some pretty doggone work. We were grading and putting greens on the high rises down in Marco Island and stuff like that. It's just uh, unbelievable the stuff we were doing to them. Back in those days, you either had a tractor with a box blade on it, or you uh, had to do it with a little bulldozer or something with a six-way blade on it. Wow, I can't believe how fast I got this thing done. All right, wow, I'm happy with this.